Perfect. All right, everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, everybody. What's going on? Welcome to today's edition of Swag Talk. This is a show we call cover the Swag Inside and Out. I'm your tour guide around the Swag. See Wells coming at you, and we are gonna continue our journey through the 2024 schedules. Um, the Swag released the um the master schedule for all the Swag games, but they didn't have um the non-conference games for everybody. So I'm just gonna go through the schedules that were announced today. Um, that that would be Alabama State, Jackson State, FAMU, and Valley. Um, if anything was dropped after, you know, during or after the time I made this video, then obviously I catch those on the next. You know, we still have uh, Pine Bluff, Texas Southern, Prairie View, um, and Alcorn completed schedules to 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 drop. So we'll get to those when they drop. But we're gonna do these four today, just like we did the four last week. Um, <clears throat> just to update you in case you don't know. I have my own little uh, ranking schedule uh, system or whatever you want to call it um, to to show you know how I feel about these schedules. Um, I assigned three points for F uh, for Power Five games, two points for G Five games, one point for FCS games, no points for D two games, and minus one point for anything lower than that. So um, <clears throat> we'll <clears throat> excuse me, we'll go through these schedules and talk about them and. Uh, Kind of give my thoughts on them and you know assign them their their rankings. So we're um, before we do any of that, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's hit the make sure I hit those socials. Facebook is Swag Talk, Instagram Swag Talk, Twitter Swag Talk seventy six. Also, I am a member and paid contributor of BustingBrackets.com. So y'all make sure y'all check me out over there. I'm gonna be putting out articles over there pretty much weekly, uh, maybe even twice a week. But right now I'm doing I'm doing weekly or, or like I said, maybe twice a week. Um, I do have a new article up um, talking about the Gremlin Southern game from Saturday. So if you haven't checked it out, go to bustingbrackets.com. I'm going to link the article in the description and you can always check the socials to see when the new article drops. So make sure y'all rock with me over there like y'all rock with me here. I definitely appreciate it. Um, also hit that subscribe button to uh, subscribe to the channel. We're making our way up to 1,200 subscribers. Like the video, share it, and feel free to comment. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into these schedules. Um, we're going to start off with the Hornets of Alabama State. <clears throat> their 12-game their, their schedule, because this is a 12-game season, was released um, today. Um, they have um, one FCS, two FCS games, or two, two FCS games, and two D2 games. So they... Um, they have um, twelve points on their on their on their they they have uh, excuse me they have ten points because um, they have ten uh, ten FCS games and the two D two games don't count for any points so they have ten points on their on their ranking um, they open up their schedule against North Carolina Central in Miami in the Orange Blossom Classic so that's a very intriguing matchup. Um, North Carolina Central coming in, you know, without Davis Richard and a few of the other guys um, against an Andrew Body led Alabama State team offensively. You know, they're going to be minus Keyshawn Johnson now. Defensively, they're going to be short some guys. So it's going to be an interesting matchup um, between two teams who, you know, who haven't really played. So this is a nice, you know, nice matchup. We'll see how the turnout is in, in Miami. Uh, since FAMU, North Jackson State is playing in the game this year. So we'll see how that turns out. But that game is on September 1st, uh, Sunday. That's the um, opening game for the Hornets. September 7th, they host Miles in their first home game of the season. Uh, Miles beat, defeated them last season and played them close to the other two times they played recently. Um, so that's obviously a big a big rivalry game for Miles. 
And then they stay in the state of Alabama when they go take on Samford Bulldogs on September 14th. So they do have another home, basically, basically another home game on the road. So hopefully the Hornets can turn out for that matchup. That's on September 14th. On September 21st, they are off. September 28th, they go to Bethune Cookman. So that's their second trip to Florida. Uh, that's on September 28th. October 5th, they host Florida AM for homecoming. Uh, October 12th, they get Valley at home. Then they get the bye week before the Magic City Classic. And October 26th, October 26th is the Magic City Classic against Alabama AM. November 2nd, they go to Alcorn. November 9th, they're at Grambling. Uh, November 16th, they host Jackson State. And November 23rd, they host Prairie View. And they close out their season on November 28th, which is Thursday, Thanksgiving. And that's the Turkey Day Classic against Tuskegee. So this schedule is not, not really that bad. You have two trips to Florida. Those are basically your longest trips. Other than that, you go, you know, you go to Gremlin and Alcorn. Um, but you get three straight games at home to close out the season, um, giving you um, six home games. So they have a nice, a nice schedule. They have six games at home on the season, um, eight games in the state of Alabama. Um, you really, you know, you really can't beat that. Um, so there's a, this is a nice schedule for the Hornets. Again, uh, they get ten points on on the scale. But this is a nice schedule. Like I said, not a lot of traveling. Um, you know, you know, you, you only have one non-conference game away from the state of Alabama, and that's in Miami. And it's a neutral site game, so it's not even a road game per se. And your only other road game in non-conference is in your own state. So I think this is a pretty solid schedule, and you can't beat the six home games. Um, that's always gonna be something that um, you know, that's always gonna be something that that you you enjoy seeing so um i think this is a pretty solid schedule for the hornets um we'll see you know how the team does you know what kind of season that they have but this is a pretty solid solid schedule and kind of what you kind of what you want to look for you know some you know some fcs games and then you know a couple rivalry type d2 games which are you know the tuskegee game is always going to be there and recently miles has been on the schedule every year so you know this is one of those cases where you know, playing a D2 team is what it is. You know, I mean, those teams are on the schedule routinely. Those are, you know, rivalry type of games. So, you know, you're not really going to see those kind of games go away. So um, I don't necessarily have a problem with that per se. Um, our next schedule we have is Florida a and uh, The Rattlers, Celebration Bowl champs, swag champs, um, going to have a new you know, new coach and, and everything from, from there moving forward. But this schedule is a pretty solid schedule. Again, um, no Orange Blossom Classic this season because they are going to be playing in Miami um, against the Hurricanes um, in week two. So they, you know, they didn't want to make two trips there. So they open up their season. In, uh, they open up their season in the uh, MEAC Swag Challenge against Norfolk State. That's Saturday, August 24th. August 31st, they host South Carolina State. So two MEAC matchups to open up the season. Um, really, you know, two really winnable games early. Uh, September 7th, they're at Miami Hurricanes. Um, they get a bye week on the 14th. Uh, September 21st, they go to Troy, um, which gives them um, which gives them another uh, another FBS game. So they're playing two FBS games this season. Um, they open up their home schedule. In conference play on September 28th against Alabama A&M. Uh, October 5th, they go to Alabama State. They're off on the 12th. Um, October 19th, they go to Jackson State. Uh, that's going to be a highly anticipated game, um, since it's, especially since it's in the middle of the season instead of early, so that's definitely highly anticipated. Uh, October 26th, they host Southern. Uh, November 2nd, they host Texas Southern. Um, November 9th, they go to Prairie View. November 16th, they get Valley at home and then the Florida Classic in Orlando on November 23rd against Bethune Cookman. So looking at the the the, the point total for this schedule, um, they have um 10 FBS games, 10 FCS games, which gives them 10 points. And then they have a, a, a G5 game, which gives them two points, and a power five game, which gives them three points. So they have a, a total of 15 
points right now. This is the highest, um, highest point total for any schedule that we've covered so far. Um, doing this, um, and this is not, you know, I like I said, I'm not a fan of the two FBS games. I, I just don't. That's just never going to be my thing. But you know, taking that away, uh, having two MEAC opponents that both games are winnable. Um, you really can't beat that. You know, you do have three. You do, you know, two of your non-conference games are in the state of Florida, one at home and one in Miami. Um, Atlanta's a place that FAMU is traditionally strong in support. So that's a, a great game for them to open up their season. And Troy, you know, that's not a, a, a super long trip. So not a lot of not a lot of lot of traveling on this schedule. The longest trip they have is obviously Prairie View. But other than that in conference, um you go into Alabama State, which is not that far away. You go into Jackson State. And then you get in uh, Prairie View on the on the road, and then you know the Florida Classic is in Orlando. So um, not again, not a not a lot of you know not a lot of jet setting. You know non conference games are, are not that far, um, not that far flung away. Um, I just you know any, any anything that I would even gripe about on this schedule would be the fact that it's two FBS games, but. You know that that that's what it is. You know you can't you know you can't really make a a a, a big deal out of that with teams because that's how they that's how teams make their bread now. So um, with a twelve game schedule, you know you you needed a, you needed them games and you're gonna get them, but you still get a solid home game against South Carolina State out of the mix. So you can't you know you can't really beat beat this schedule. Um, it's not bad. And it's not great, but it's you know it's a solid schedule, and I you know I won't complain about that. Um, the next the next schedule we have is uh, Jackson State, uh, the Tigers. Um, they their schedule um, they have two SWAC games and non-conference games, and you know I fuss about that a lot. But in this kind of situation, I understand because the two teams that are on their schedule are rivals. You know I mean I was living with Southern and Jackson playing last year. Uh, the president was said that. You know, regardless if this game is on the schedule or not, in terms of conference play, it's probably going to be on the schedule anyway. So that that's you know that's understandable. And Grand was a rivalry type of game, and you know it was high time that they play it again. So that the, um, that basically led to this game being you know them having two sweat games and non-conference games this season, um, like Southern did last season. But um, they also have a, a FBS game against ULM, and then a, a D2 game against Lane. So they have um a total of 12 points for their for their score the uh two points for the fbs two points for the g5 game and one point for each fcs game and then no uh no points for the d2 game but um they do get a couple early season home games um again their non-conference slate not a lot of traveling um two games basically in the same area out of state um, in the North Louisiana area, which is not that far away, and then the other two uh, non-conference games are at home. So they they have a pretty solid uh, pretty solid schedule when it turn, comes to um, being at home this season, um, or at least not having a lot of distance travel. So they open up their season on the 31st of August at ULM. Um, they get Lane College at home on September 7th, September 14th. They're back at home against Southern. Uh, September 21st, they're at Grambling. Uh, September 28th, they go to Texas Southern. Um, no, October 5th, they play Alabama a in the Gulf Coast Challenge. They get a bye week. Uh, October 19th, they get um, FAMU at home. October 26th, they're at Bethune-Cookman. November 2nd, they get uh, Palm Bluff at home. November 9th, they get Valley at home. November 16th, they're at Alabama State. And November twenty third at all four. Um, that that you know they like I said they have a lot of games that aren't aren't really far away. Uh, Daytona is probably the longest trip of, of the season, but they do have um, three games in a row away from home at Grambling, at Southern, and then in Mobile against Alabama A and M, and then it's the bye week. So their schedule is kind of. Um, it's split in half, six and six. They get six games to start the season, then they get their bye week, and then they close out their game, out the season with six straight games. Um, and in the second half of the season, uh, it's three and three. 
uh, three on the road, three at home, so pretty even split. Um, on um, and then in the first half of the season, uh, two at home and four away. So again, you know, it's kind of balanced in a way. Um, but you know, I, I I don't really see a lot of problems with this schedule either. You know, I mean, when you play two games against opponents in your league in non-conference, kind of makes it slim on what else you. Would, would play and typically that lane game would be Tennessee State in most in, in, in most years, but obviously that's not the case anymore right now. So um you need a home game. And I when you to me in a 12 game schedule, I don't really have a lot of problems with a D2 game. Um so you know especially since it gives you another home game. And um like I said you're not a super tough FBS opponent. So you know I think that's you know I think that's that's fine. Um, I don't really have any problem with any anything on their schedule right now. So um, again, pretty solid schedule. They end up with 12 points um, due to playing the 10 F 10 FCS games, uh, D2 game, and then an FBS game. So 10, uh, 12 points for the Tigers. And our last schedule that we have, at least at this point, um, is a schedule where this team is not going to be at home very often. Um, and that's Mississippi Valley. Um, they played um, a, a full FCS schedule, all 12 games of FCS games, so they have 12 points. Um, they have eight road games this season, uh, only four games at home. They don't play their first home game until um, September 28th. So as usual, Valley has a challenging uh, non-conference slate. Uh, all are on the road. Uh, they open up their season on – August 31st at Tennessee State. Um, September 7th, they're at Lamar. September 14th, they're at Murray State. September 21st, they're at Nickel State. October 28th is their home first home game against Alcorn. They get a bye week. Uh, they go to Alabama State on the 12th. They get Bethune-Cookman on the 19th for homecoming. Um, October 26th, they're at Pine Bluff. Uh, November 2nd, they get Prairie View at home. Uh, November 9th, they're at Jackson State. November 16th, they're at Florida A&M. And then November 23rd, they close out at home against Alabama A&M. So they play five games to open up the season before their first bye week. Um, four of those five games are on the road. And then on the, in the second portion of the season, um, they get three um, three out of uh, seven on the road, three out of seven at home. So it's almost an even split. Um, as usual, like I said, Valley plays a difficult non-conference slate typically most years. Um, so they, you know, they don't play FBS games really. So they pretty much make their, their headway um, by playing tougher FCS opponents. And like I said, all on the road. Um, you know, again, not a lot of not a lot of travel on this schedule. Um, I, I I like that part. I like for most teams. You know, not a lot of crazy long trips for anybody. Um, even for Valley, um, their longest trip is probably uh, Beaumont. Right, uh, just looking at it uh, off the top of my head, um, probably it, it is going to Beaumont and then you know Tallahassee. So they don't have a lot of crazy long trips um like i said they they have that span of four games and four weeks on the road to start the season uh, other than that not a lot of long stretches away from home uh they do have jackson state and fam you back to back on the road um to close you know to basically close out the season so other than that it's kind of like home road home road home road um for a couple weeks until that two game stretch uh, away from home and then they close out at home so you know, where you know what kind of team Val is gonna have, that's always gonna be up for debate. But um right here, right now, this is a pretty solid schedule. Like I said, it's all FCS schedule. All teams are basically, you know, in the in a neighboring state, you know, Tennessee, uh Kentucky, Louisiana, Texas, you know, is obviously not exactly next to Mississippi, but it's you know, a state away. So it's not that crazy. Beaumont's not that far from, you know, basically, you know, the the the, the line in Texas. So, you know, it's not uh, really, really a lot of um, traveling for the Delta Devils. So 
Uh, I like I like all of these schedules. Nobody out of the eight schedules that we've seen so far in full, um, I don't have a problem with any of them. You know, all all of them I can honestly probably explain away whatever issue I have. So you know, I I, I don't have any problem with anybody's schedule so far this season. Um, we have eight down, four more to go. Uh, when those drop, we'll talk about them whether it's individually or uh, as a group. Uh, we'll 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 run through those. Like I said, uh, we do know everybody's swag schedule, um, and kind of piecing together from working off FBSschedule.com what most people's non-conference schedules are. Um, you know, but some people are missing a game here, missing a the game there. So just kind of want to make sure that we got everything in order before we I roll them all out um, and 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 talk about them. So with that being said, man, I'm your tour guide around the swag, C Wells. Signing out, man. Like I said before, y'all make sure y'all hit me up on bustingbrackets.com. Y'all got pretty much a lot of my basketball content is gonna be there. I'm gonna still do things here, but a lot of my stuff is gonna be there for basketball. This will be more, you know, football and everything else. And you know, I will cover basketball here, but that's probably where the bulk of my basketball stuff is gonna be. So with that being said, man, I, like I said, I'm your tour guide around the swag. See where I'm signing out, and I'm gonna catch y'all on the rebound. Peace.